A. Why is protein important? Not only, protein is important for building and repairing muscle fibers after exercise, but also protein helps with the immune system, provides structure for muscles, organs, bones, hair, skin, and all other tissues. Manufacture hormones and enzymes that are involved in the most reaction in your body. For body composition purposes, protein is the most important dietary macronutrient because muscle is literally made out of it. In simpler words, if muscle is the car, protein is the metal out of which the parts are built. Protein not only provides the building blocks for muscle growth, but protein also supplies the amino acids needed to reduce muscle breakdown. So in a nutshell, protein builds new muscles and save existing muscles from being lost. Both functions are very important in maximizing muscle and minimizing fat. Why it's important to consume some protein every day. 90% of the protein you eat is broken down into amino acids. The body uses this when it needs to build or repair muscle or any other tissue. Amino acids have no form of storage in the body, unlike carbohydrates and fat. So it's important to have some protein every day. Now you must be wondering what amino acids are. Before we proceed, I have a off-topic, easy refresher question for you, which I will answer somewhere in between this video, you are most welcome to answer in the comments below. So, the question is. You are in a race, you just passed the person in the last place. What place are you in? You can pause the video and think about it. Now coming back to amino acids. Amino acids are building blocks of protein and are necessary to support muscle growth. There are two types of amino acids. Essential and non-essential amino acids. Essential amino acids. There are nine types of essential amino acids, and all we should know is that your body cannot create them, and they must be obtained from foods and supplements. Non-essential amino acids. If you have 9 essential amino acids in your meal, you don't have to worry about remaining non-essential ones. Non-essential amino acids can be produced in the body by reconfiguring other amino acids. Complete versus incomplete protein. Complete protein. Offers all essential amino acids. All animal proteins, meat, poultry, eggs, and fish, and even dairy like milk are complete protein. Incomplete protein. Missing one or more essential amino acids. Plant-based proteins are generally incomplete protein. Hold your horses. Now it doesn't mean, if you are vegetarian or vegan, you should start eating animals to have complete proteins. Before we proceed to tips for vegans, let's take a little break, let's answer to the refresher question. I hope you didn't answer second last. Actually, how can I pass the person who is last? As there cannot be anyone behind the last. So who figured out that the question is actually invalid? Please comment below, I knew it. Now coming back to our topic. Tips for vegans. To get all the essential amino acids, make sure to get protein from a variety of sources. This compensates for the lack of specific amino acids in one particular food. Consume a balanced diet including Grains like wheat, rice, oat Vegetables Legumes like peas, beans Nuts like peanut, walnuts And seeds like quinoa, buckwheat If you don't have variety, it can lead to protein deficiency as a vegan. How much protein do you need? Ideal protein intake depends on factors such as weight, muscle mass, and fitness goals. An average person will have completely different protein needs than a professional athlete. Please note. If you want to calculate taking your weight in kilograms, ignore pounds, and if you want to calculate taking your weight in pounds, ignore kilograms. So the magic numbers are. To live an average life. 
0.5 to 0.7 grams per pound of body weight or 1.1 to 1.54 grams per kilogram of body weight to build muscles 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of body weight or 1.76 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight minimum protein requirement per day 0.36 grams per pound of body weight or 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight serious advice Please never go below 0.36 grams per pound or 0.8 grams per kilogram of protein per day. As this is the minimum required protein to survive without any significant deficiency. So daily intake should be a little higher than that. Time to take out the calculator and do some calculations. To calculate minimum requirement of protein per day for average person. Let's take an example, someone weighs 70 kilograms or 155 pounds, which are basically same. Please note, if you want to calculate taking your weight in kilograms, ignore pounds, and if you want to calculate taking your weight in pounds, ignore kilograms. So 70 kilograms times 0.8 or 155 pounds times 0.36 equals approximately 56 grams. So it means the person who weighs 70 kilograms or 155 pounds should definitely not go below 56 grams of protein on daily basis to survive without any significant deficiency. To, to calculate ideal range of protein per day for average person. So, for example, someone weighs 70 kilograms. Here for simplicity, I will calculate taking weight in kilograms, as answer will be same who weighs 155 pounds in the end. For lower range, 70 times 1.1 equals 77. For upper range, 70 times 1.54 equals 108. Now if you want, you can pause the video, and calculate minimum intake of protein per day, and ideal range of protein per day because if you go below the minimum range of protein, the body will not build muscle at the optimum rate. However, if you go above the maximum range, then you will see no increase in protein synthesis, which is the rate at which new proteins are built. Which means if higher intake it is going waste. I will provide you with some food with their approximate protein content as it varies with the size. One whole egg has 7 to 8 grams of protein. Egg white has 3 to 4 grams. 100 grams of chicken breast has 30 grams. 100 grams salmon has 21 grams. 1 tablespoon of peanut butter has about 4 grams. 100 grams chickpeas has 19 grams. 100 grams of red beans has 21 grams. On an average one serving of vegetables has 3 to 5 grams of proteins. Now you can show off in front of your friends and family. On a serious note, you can guide them if they are not taking enough protein, which is very essential for the body, and help making people around you healthy. The acceptable macronutrient distribution range, AEMDR shows that 10% to 35% of your daily calories should come from protein. 20% to 35% of your daily calories should come from fat. 45% to 65% of your daily calories should come from carbs. But how do we calculate calories? Don't worry, in my upcoming videos, I will explain everything from the basics. Stay tuned, and don't forget to click on the bell icon, so you don't miss anything. This calculation will help in counting calories, which will eventually decide your weight loss, weight gain, or maintaining weight. So you will be confident in what you eat every day and would anticipate your result well in advance. This time instead of thought, it's gonna be tip of the day. Grab a pencil and hold it between your teeth, if you are in a bad mood. Because holding a pencil with your teeth forces your mouth into a smiling position, and according to body language psychology, your facial movements can influence your emotions. Interesting, isn't it? That's it for today, keep watching this channel, how to from basics to epic. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. Thank you and see you in the next video.